and like the last caller who doesn't read. Just thinks he knows it all. It says anyone who disagrees with the Pope is, is lying about the Pope. What do you want me to do, sit here crying like John Boehner? Let me go get out my pink tie. Let me get out my pink tie and start to cry when the phony starts to give his, his diatribe garbage. I don't care if he's quiet and a nice man. I told you that the new Marxism is marching across the globe with no yelling, no screaming, no music playing, no guns are blazing. It's now done nice. Nice. And it's very done very nicely. Look how far Obama's gotten with the nice guy act. Now he found his man in the, Vat the Vatican. I rest my case. I'll be back to play more of the Pope on the Savage Nation. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. My Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com, the only company I trust to protect my wealth with gold and silver. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O-I-N. Golden Rule also reminds us of our responsibility to protect and defend human life at every stage of its development. This conviction has, has led me from the beginning of my ministry to advocate at different levels the global abolition of the death penalty. You see how, how low class our Congress is, especially those women? Whooping like they're on a Tonight Show. Screw her! That lowlife should have been tossed out in a dirty skirt. They were told not to cheer and applaud. But those degenerate leftists, woo! Like they're on a night show. Finally, they got a Pope and they speaks their language. I'm so fed up today, you have no idea. Well, you have some idea. Oh, so he's against the death penalty, is he? Why does he talk about the death cult that's eradicating Christianity in the Middle East? Why don't you talk about the death cult that is enslaving Christian girls in the Middle East? Coming here lecturing me about mass murderers and rapists on death row. We should have sympathy for them. But no sympathy for the babies being torn apart by Planned Parenthood. You can hear one word about Planned Parenthood. And those ghouls, those ghoulish swine laughing over glasses of wine at fine restaurants as they sell baby body parts. But they whoop when he talks about the murderers, the rapists on death row. Whoop! Woo! There she was on NBC. Woo! And no one threw that girl out of that stadium there, whatever he went to, Congress. Ah, the whole thing's a charade. I can't wait till it's over. When does he leave already? When does he go back to Rome and sit there with his pontifications? Look at the word, pontifications. Is there anything new under the sun? Think of the word pontifications pontifications I think that says it all who believes this rubbish except the gullible child who doesn't even know what he's talking about so he's a man of peace I applaud that then why did he come to Congress what for what was the purpose why was he invited why is he the first Pope ever to speak before a joint session of Congress the first in history why because we have a communist president a radical Marxist president and a supine Republican Party, new word, didn't hear it this morning. We have a one world government, one, war, one party running the country. And so they found their pope. And that's all I have to say on the, on the issue. I'm not going to sit and ridicule this guy. He is what he is. He's a politician. He modified his radical speech Many in many different places of what he was going to say. I can guarantee you this was rewritten on that Vatican flight over from from Rome because the outcry was so great in this country. Attention, England. Attention, England, who covers these things in America. I am Michael Savage. I'm a conservative commentator, and I strongly resent this pope coming here and lecturing us in this country about taking in more immigrants when we take in more immigrants than the whole world put together. That's number one. Attention, England. I'm Michael Savage, a conservative commentator in America, and I greatly resent this hypocrite from Rome 
who does not take in any refugees from Syria, but tells us to take them into our homes. I am Michael Savage, American, and in my great new book, Government Zero, I report that the entire speech on the environment was written for him by a radical German named Schnellnuber. And I swear in a stack of Bibles, every word I just said is true. And the Pope didn't write the Bible I swear on. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE. Savage. Right, of those who were here belong before us, us? were not always respected. There For those peoples and their nations, from the art of American democracy, oh, we wish to reaffirm my highest esteem he loves, okay, loves the Native appreciation. American. Good for you. Those first contacts were often yeah. turbulent and violent. You ought to pay but reparations for what the priest did. That is very difficult to judge the past by the okay. criteria. Well, what's the point of taking apart what he said? Now he's already talking about how our ancestors, which weren't mine, by the way, I'm an immigrant son, who. Uh, didn't respect those who were on the continent before them. Really? Hmm. How about the missionaries who uh, went out to Hawaii, for example? <clears throat> Christian missionaries who bamboozled the Hawaiians, told them to throw away their fed feathers and rocks and worship Jesus and then stole their land? Uh, shouldn't the missionary descendants give back the land to the poor Hawaiian fa families they stole it from? What, what is this? How, what are you, a child? Do I have to read you from a fable? This is a, like a whole thing is a fable. This is written for a child like a giant fairy tale. So what am I going to get excited about? Because I've never seen a country bow down to a false idol like this in my entire life. I resent it as an American, as a free-thinking American, as a man who loves his freedom. I resent having to listen to this garbage from this radical leftist, the Pope. I'm sick of it. And I'm I, good riddance. Go back where you came from. Take in some immigrants, cut up the uh, Vatican gold and the money and give it away. Then I'll believe a word you say. That's the end of the story. Can we move on? Or let's just take some calls, then we'll move on. I don't know. Any, any, uh, again, I apologize to Catholics out there who don't understand what I'm saying and think that it's, you know, Either you're for him or you're against all Catholics. That's, you know, if you look at things that way, you shouldn't even listen to this show. Here we stand on the verge of losing our nation to an immigrant invasion unlike ever before seen in, in the history of this nation because of the radical in the White House. And along comes <coughs> Obama's Pope. Here comes Obama's Pope, handpicked, handmade, and he tells us to take in as many immigrants as want to come here. And tells us that we're a bad nation and we pollute and we do everything wrong. And we have to listen to this garbage. The same thing your poor daughter has to listen to at college. The same thing your children have to listen to in grade school. Now he's lecturing us like we're all ignoramuses. So, what's the point? You know, I wrote when I was 18, those who know will always know and those who don't will never. And that's it. If you don't know, you'll never know. Your mind is made up and you can't think. You can't think for yourself. You can't listen to reason. You can't listen. You don't have no logical faculties. It's called a belief system. So if you want to believe in this man's rubbish, go ahead and believe in it. Belief is not reality, though. It's belief. I don't know how an educated Catholic cannot be agitated today. I do not understand how educated Catholics cannot regurgitate from what's going on in this country today. That their own church was usurped and taken over right in front of their eyes. Now I'll go to the callers. David on WBAP, fire away 30 seconds or less. I read Countdown to Mecca, loved it. I'm not even a big reader. I loved it. Uh, wait, 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 wait. How did you, wait, I don't even have a copy. How'd you read it? <laughs> <laughs> Countdown to Mecca? Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. My novel, Countdown to Mecca. I got mixed up. I thought you were referring to Government Zero. I haven't even seen a copy of my own book, but go on. Sorry for that confusion. I can't wait to see that one. Yeah, I, 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 I couldn't believe uh, Boehner. He was such a giddy altar boy, uh, blowing his nose. What, yeah, what was Boehner crying with a handkerchief over his eyes? 
Well, it's kind of funny, Michael. You look like he used one to wipe his eyes and one to blow his snout, you know. And uh, <laughs> yeah, he looks so. Uh, of course, you know he's been he's been wanting this since 2014. Been wanting this guy to come over here. And uh, I'm, like I said, I'm a Catholic, but I'm, I'm appalled by this. Uh, why didn't it? Take is, a is, is is Boehner a Catholic? Is that why he's crying? He's so incredibly happy that this happened under his watch. He's riddled, he's riddled with guilt. You know they should have took they should have took that the Pope in the back room and showed him uh, 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 the excerpts of this uh, Planned Parenthood. You know why didn't we talk about that? Yeah, maybe they should have taken the Pope over to uh, France on his way over and shown him all the crosses of the American boys lying in the earth, six feet under, who saved the world from fascism. Maybe he wouldn't shoot his big mouth off about how evil America is. And as far as his own Italy goes, if it wasn't for the American graveyards all over Europe, uh, I suppose that fascism would be ruling Italy today. Yeah. Maybe someone ought to, let, maybe someone ought to tell him about the Battle of Salerno. Maybe ought to, someone ought to tell him about all the American boys who died taking Italy back from the German fascists. He wouldn't come over here with his, with his rubbish about how evil America is. Sisters of Sorrow. How about the Little Sisters of Sorrow? Did they go uh, apologize to them? Yeah, I heard about that little sideshow. Well, one thing is he, he eschewed lunch today with members of Congress to go hang out with the homeless, have lunch with them, have a turkey on rye. You know, I, I, I admire that. That's along the lines of uh, Nancy Pelosi washing the feet of the poor. My only prayer here is that the Pope does not contract a disease from the homeless. Do you know that the Vatican has the strictest immigration policy in the world, David? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I, listen, I was going to tell you two on a side note, uh, Michael. I've got a cousin of mine who was adopted by, through Catholic Charities, and uh, he, he eventually had met his biological mother. She said they told her to lie all over that birth certificate. Lie. Don't, don't say your real uh, maiden name. Don't give any information where we can find you later and all this kind of stuff. Just a f total fraud. Total fraud. The whole thing. Well, I, I hope I didn't offend you and any other Catholic listening to the show, but, you know, just because a man comes marching in the vestments of a church doesn't mean that he's espousing the beliefs of the church, does it? Right, exactly. Exactly. Michael. Man, and I have to say this. We are all sensitized to those who have uh, perverted the religion of Islam. We're all sensitized to Jews who use the religion of Judaism to get ahead. And, and the same with any other huckster. Why is this man different than any other huckster? I, I don't get it. I don't get it either, Michael. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't understand it either. I'm, I'm very disgruntled, though. And just to let you know, I, I love your show. I, I, I'm a Catholic, but I'm very disgruntled right now. And uh, thanks for opening my eyes on this stuff. Well, stay on the line. I'm sending you a free copy of Government Zero. I, I'm going to get my first copy on Monday. By the way, there are pictures of the Pope's border wall around the Vatican. Pope's border wall around the Vatican. Really? My, how unchristian of him. The American Mirror. Pope calls for U.S. to embrace illegals, maintains massive wall around the Vatican. You would have think? Wow, looks like a medieval fortress. I have a picture of it up on. Tear down that wall. Mr. Francis, tear down that wall. Let the hordes from Syria come on in. Did you miss the picture? The wall around Vatican City? I'm surprised they haven't put up a moat. Uh, you could look at it on michaelsavage.com, linked up from the American Mirror. P implored U.S. politicians to embrace migrants coming to America. And he wants them all, people traveling north in search of a better life. We must not uh, be taken aback uh, by their numbers, uh, but rather view them uh, as a person's, uh, seeing their faces uh, and listening to their stories, uh, trying to respond uh, as the best that we can uh, to their situation. To respond uh, in a way uh, which is always humane, uh, just and fraternal, we need uh, to avoid uh, a common temptation nowadays to discard whatever proves troublesome. Well, tear down that wall. I don't think even Donald Trump could build a wall like that around the Vatican today. That's a massive engineering project. Tear down that wall. No walls are for you, but plenty of walls are for me. Well, most Democrats live in gated communities. Pelosi lives in a gated home. Uh, Feinstein has a gated home with bodyguards. So why should she be any different? Yeah, right. You get I don't know how evangelicals feel about this today. How about evangelicals? How do they feel today watching this go on? Huh? 
The illegal immigrants consume social assistance benefits way beyond the percentage that they represent in the population. They contribute to nothing and they get the 